Right everyone, Rap Factor here. I thought I'd do a video about this Haytex Outdoor D153 Bastard Halibut knife and talk about the locking option on it. Because uh, this has a lock on it that you can uh, remove from the knife. That was the lock in it there. It's basically a little Allen key that sits in the back of the knife just there and you can take it out and this is a slip joint knife open it put this little anarchy in there and then it's a locking knife and what I wanted to talk about was the options that you could do to carry this knife but still have the the lock as an option just before I go over that I'll just say something about legal carry knives because Without that lock, this is a slip joint, doesn't lock, with a sub 3 inch blade, which is technically legal to carry. But I would say, if you ever carry any knife, be prepared that you could still get arrested for it. There's many reasons why you could. Some are just that if you're acting suspiciously, acting aggressively, or just if the policeman that day wants to arrest you for it, you can. You know, even though it's legal. And there's pretty much nothing you can do about it. So be prepared for that. If you want to carry a legal knife, be prepared for what could happen. You know. So, like I said, it's a slip joint. I won't do a full review on this. If you want to see a full review, I'll add a card to come up in a minute. I just wanted to talk about the the lock, really. Like I said, there's the lock. It's just a little Allen key that goes into a little recess there. That's got a magnet in it. Hold it in place so it won't fall out. May if you really whacked it. And then you just press it out. And then it's unlocked. And then you can keep the anarchy like in the back. That's what's supposed to be stored. But what I would recommend, is if you wanted to definitely be within the laws, or more within the laws anyway, do not carry that on the knife. You could carry it in your wallet, in your shoe, you know, anywhere. It, I wouldn't, rec well, not in your shoe, because it would look weird if you had that in your shoe. They, they would suspect something. But in your wallet, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just to tighten the pivots. One other thing I thought you could do is get one of these, which is the little spring clip on an Allen key. This is a big one. They, If you twist the Allen key one way, they it comes off and then you twist it back the same way and it'll go on but it holds the allen key well if you can get a small enough one this one's slightly too big but you can get smaller ones that will fit that perfectly and you can then hang that on your keys and as long as they don't notice they'll just assume you know you can just say well they may not even ask what it is but it could just be it's just to tighten the pivots on the knife so just a couple of ideas really but I would highly recommend this knife, really good, and I'd, I would definitely recommend carrying that with you somewhere, but not on the knife. I don't know if it would make it legal having it, having it not on the knife, that is a knife without a lock, without that on it, but, you know, is it a lock just because you've got it with you, you know, I don't know, but I would recommend, if you want a, want a decent legal carry knife technically legal carry knife this is the way to go and keep that somewhere else with you but not on the knife it's up to you I don't know what you lot would think you know you tell me but um you know and it all depends if you're willing to risk it I would probably I don't know I'd probably just do, you know, uh, I don't know, it's hard to say, but, um, yeah, this isn't me talking anyway, you know, this is, you know, it's me talking, obviously, but it's, I'm not saying this what I would do, I'm just recommending things that you could do, yeah, slip joint knife, with a lock that you can add if you want it. Would it be legal to carry that Allen key 
in your wallet or on your keys. It's not on the knife, meaning the knife does not have a lock on it. You know, would that be the case? I don't know. But like I said, even a slip joint can get you arrested in the wrong situation or the wrong place. So it's all down to what you're prepared to risk. Yeah, well that is it anyway. That is the Haytex Outdoors D153 Bastard Halibut Knife with an optional lock if you want it. Right, hope you enjoyed the video. There'll be links to this knife if you want it. And there would have been a card showing you where to see a full review of this because this is really this video is just about the lock. If you want to see a full review, it's uh it's either in the card or below. Alright, I'm done the video, I hope you found this helpful. And if you've got any info that you think you can add, add it in the comments. Alright? See you later.